Hey everybody, I'm Max Zilber. So I have not been nominated for the Ice Bucket Challenge. So I think I'm a little bit free from some of the rules. While the ALS Association is a wonderful group, instead I'd like to show some love for the ALS Therapy Development Institute, the Muscular Dystrophy Association, Prize for Life, and the Forbes Norris ALS Clinic. Descriptions of all of them, as well as how to donate, are in the video description below. So since I donated, I think I am exempt from the ice bucket component of this challenge. But on top of that, people have been complaining about, we're in California, it's a drought. Shouldn't we not be flushing five gallon buckets of water down the drain? So I decided to investigate how much does that much water really matter? And I wanted to find out can I waste five entire gallons of water without strictly pouring it on my head? Let's find out. Is that a slice of bread? That's 10 gallons? Oh, that was easy. So it turns out that the wheat in this bread is essentially drowned when it's uh, being grown. So whenever you're eating a sandwich, anything along those lines, you're essentially drinking gallons upon gallons of precious water. But I guess my question is, can we outdo that? Can we do 50 gallons? Can we do, yes we can. Was that rice that you just poured on me? Maybe. Okay, um, so similar to wheat, but actually more so, rice is grown in this heavily irrigated conditions where it's entirely submerged in water. That was just a third of a cup of rice that was poured on me, and it totaled 50 gallons of water. Now, I know by now you're saying, oh, Matt, we get it. Grains take a lot of water. Can we do 500 gallons? Yeah, we can. Oh, this chocolate bar. It's chocolate, really. So uh, according to the teleprompter that's obviously over there, this chocolate bar takes about 500 gallons of water to produce. It's about 100 grams. 100 ice bucket challenges. So at this point, you know what we got to do we got to go for a thousand. Throwing shoes at me now? So uh, an average pair of shoes, as well as an average pair of jeans, takes about 2,000 gallons of water to produce. This cotton shirt comes in relatively light at about 400 gallons. Drought's a serious challenge, but so is ALS. From the inception of the Ice Bucket Challenge through today, the challenge has used about as much water as a single large hotel. When it comes to the drought, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is a proverbial drop in the bucket. While I commend people for their efforts towards conservation and drawing attention to the drought, there's no need to pour cold water. After I did all that, I still did this. You know. <laughs> Donate to ALS, fools.